Good day. This is AD of AD Flex, and we have a great news for all of those using OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. Developers release the latest version. It is the 28th version and released by August 31st. And what are the future features you will see on this newly newer version of this OBS, this new release? Well, stay tuned on our video and I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, tick the notification bell so you will see more of this kind of video on my channel so here we go so first you may download it the OBS the latest version of the OBS in their official website which is obsproject.com it is free free of charge as you can see free and an open source software for your video recording and live streaming so if you're using windows click the windows if you're on mac os click mac os and for your linux click linux and after that when you install this this is what it looks like and um, nope uh i mean not because i there's also a new steam for that no different kind of themes so if you download it install the 28 version this will be the looks of your obs but i don't like that theme i will go back to my aki team aki team so there's several new then light and dark recently no the last version so we have our dark gray light which which me system and the default is yummy so i'm gonna turn back that so apparently there's i think all of this includes on the last version the stream output still have oh i cannot i cannot you mean i cannot uh, get that because i'm still recording the obs so. but actually it's pretty the same i think on the advanced option output option output mode for advanced there's some kind of tweaks about the settings and for the audio pretty much the same and for the video the video you won't have to choose the downscale filter if the resolution the base and the output scale is much so that's new and hotkeys and you will also have this accessibility option if you want to tweak the mixer volume band the source board percent like the the one you will look there and process then there's new the sdr white level hdr and pretty much everything there so let's go apply that so what's new on this if you see the GitLab page of the OBS 38, there are some might be incompatible plugins, so you may want to look at that if you're using some of this in your previous OBS. Because once you open your OBS, it will prompt you that some of the plugin 
plug in installed in your OBS it's not compatible with your 28 so you can just reinstall uninstall and reinstall the latest version the 28 version for corresponding plugin you like and some of it it's not available now that's quite bad and uh, as you can see earlier now there's hdr and 10 bit uh support for recording hdr streaming is also supported for the youtube youtubes then that function well if you're using hdr and there's a couple of plugin that uh, corresponded or included with the obs like the websocket no you don't need to install it so when you install the 28 version the latest version of obs that is may included as well and uh the newest thing i'm the the other thing i see on this newest version is the application audio capture it's also included when you install the obs 28 version which is uh will capture the audio of specific application it's like a window capture nope it's like a game capture actually it's like a game capture but it will just capture the audio of the application for example you want to capture the mozilla firefox spotify web player you can do that and it will be integrated in your audio mixer so we will delete that so same on this no you will ha just have a, a new scene uh, and you can go properties down here filters filter that apply some filter then you have the media controls so it basically pretty much the same of the older version but it's more like ungraded one now and more reflect so this is the time you should download this new obs 28 version it's pretty cool now and i will tackle this on other uh, videos of mine on how you will use this some of the good uh, plugins you can use on your streaming or on your video recording and also of course in your presentation for your conferencing or you can also use in your video calls presentation and unfortunately i'm always using the obs ndi plugin which is in progress that's good not like this not available but i'm still i'm still using some different kind of methods how you can use the obs studio without the ndi obs ndi so uh, watch out for that video no? and how you can integrate uh, your obs uh, sources on your video conference or you can use it on your camera or on your audio for your conferencing app and other other more now so that's it that's the newly installed obs so i hope you enjoy and uh, uh get excited on this new uh, latest version of the OBS. so again i hope you subscribe and uh, 
and tick the notification bo notification bell and stay tuned for more video and see you guys on the next video bye bye